What's up YouTube, back with another video here. Uh, today's video I wanted to talk about tank filtration. Now, not filtration in any tanks, but filtration in my personal tanks and what I use to filter, fil filtrate, filter, excuse me, my fish tanks. Uh, my planted fish tanks to be specific. Um, now, uh, the tank I'm shooting is my bottom right 40. Uh, this tank is uh, doing pretty well. Uh, in my opinion, I think it's uh, uh, the water clarity is pretty good. It's, uh, I did do just a water change and I kind of polished up the tank, but generally this tank uh, looks like this uh, all the time. But um, uh, what do I use to filter this tank? I actually don't use anything. I used to have, that's not saying I never used anything in this tank. I actually used to have uh, a sponge filter uh, in this tank, but uh, I never ran a hang on the back or a, a canister filter on any of these large 40 breeders. And now, uh, the way I came across this was kind of an accident. Um, before I had CO2, uh, my plants were growing relatively slowly. I had enough surface area to actually put a sponge filter in here. Uh, now that I have CO2 um, and my plants kind of exploded, I, uh, I found that I actually need more room for plants. And it got so bad that I actually could use that maybe extra four four by four inches uh, of space to to uh, use it for uh, an area to put my plants. So I actually ended up uh, taking out those sponge filters and seeing how it went. And um, I was actually surprised where I didn't really notice a difference when I took it out. Now this may be because of my uh, water change regimen. I do do a water change uh, once a week. And uh, on Sunday, and on that Sunday, I'll actually change anywhere from 50 to 80 percent of the water. Uh, so that might be a little bit excessive to some, but I feel like that's what I need to do to keep my system uh, looking the way it does. Um, but the reason why I do uh, a water change is not so much uh, to level out the parameters. Well, actually, it, it is because I do uh, EI dosing, so I want to kind of reset my system. But uh, actually, my goal is to actually remove uh, the fish waste, actually. So uh, I know the plants do the, the filtration part as far as uh, using that fish waste uh, and using it to, uh, uh, you know, to grow as fish or as, as a, a fuel source to grow. Um, but uh, the, the waste that does settle on the bottom, I actually do have to remove because uh, it actually uh, will settle on the bottom or in the plants. Now... Um, you know, the, the way, you know, I think my, my theory is uh, for this tank specifically or maybe some of my other tanks, um, since I have this large uh, power head to the left-hand side, it actually pushes the CO2. I have it right underneath the CO2 outlet. It pushes the CO2 um, across the tank, but also pushes fish waste or anything else for that matter um, across the tank. And if you follow the flow... Uh, let's see if I can pan in just a tad bit for you folks. Sorry, the little bit loud noise right here. Uh, the flow will actually push to the far right corner. And in the far right corner, you'll see this java fern. Now, these java ferns have a, a rhizome. And what grow off the rhizome are like almost like a, a root structure. Uh, now, these root structures are really furry or hairy or whatever you call them. And they'll actually trap uh, particles and... Uh, and uh, food and fish waste uh, in these, in these uh, root structures. So... My theory is that uh, these root structures actually uh, trap and polish off the water, and that's how you know it, it looks the way it does. It looks really clean, but you know when I do every time, every Sunday when I do a water change and I take these java ferns out, it, it's just a muck. It just looks like mud. So what I'll do is I'll, I'll shake over, I'll shake all these java ferns, and I'll let the the debris and fish waste, fish food and stuff like that settle on the bottom, and I'll do, I'll use my uh, python and I'll just suck all that up. And uh, that's why I do such a large water change because it, it does take a, quite a while to get all the, the fish waste and whatnot. But uh, as far as filtration go goes in any of my uh, three planted tanks, um, I don't use any fil uh, you know uh, uh, sponge, mechanical, or or um, what you call it, a canister filter. Uh, my only filtration would be uh, aquatic plants uh, and my uh, water change schedule. Um, so hopefully. This video, um, you know, helped anyone out or hopefully you like this video. Um, if you did, please drop a like. 
Um, if you have any questions, please uh, shoot me, drop a comment or like that, or drop a comment. And um, yeah, so thanks for watching, and I'll see you folks next time. Bye.